Hello, Brian and Jen. Jarl Kubot here with West USA Realty. I'm down in the city of Maricopa, and I'm in the, the community of the villages at Rancho El Dorado, uh, get, doing you a video tour of one of the homes that you inquired about here the other day. So again, hang on to your eyeballs. Going to give you some live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video. So I'm standing here beside the uh, in back of the house. Uh, you've got a premium lot here. Uh, this is just a gorgeous home here in the villages at Rancho El Dorado and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I think you'd enjoy it. Uh, here's the back of the house. So I'm on the HOA grounds behind the fence. And actually, you would think when you're sitting in the backyard that you don't have a lot of privacy, but this stands down quite a bit, this walkway does, uh, back behind the house. And so you'd almost have to come up to the fence to see that you're even in the pool. So uh, this is the back of the home. You've got, the pool is heated. You got a whole bunch of travertine tile in that backyard. It's just a gorgeous backyard. There isn't a built-in barbecue, but there wouldn't take much to do so. And you, and you do have a gas, and it would be real easy to run a gas line to the backyard if there isn't one. Okay, so this is the house, the back of the house right next door to you, and their patio is on the other side of the home. So the back patios are staggered. And then you've got all this HOA property behind you. Sidewalk goes forever back here and wraps around in through the whole community. And then these houses that are in back here are quite a ways behind you. The, uh, you, gotta, you, got, you go two doors down from, your, from the house and you take a little waterway back here to this walking path uh, in order to even get back here. And so this walking path is gorgeous. Down way down to the end there, there's a there's a grade school down to the end in this community here. But that's uh, like I says, way down there. Again, giving you live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video. Uh, very. Uh, uh, my tongue gets a little mixed up here, so I don't mean to confuse you by any means here. So we're gonna walk back through this waterway and back to the front of the house, so you can kind of see what this is all like, okay? It's uh, heating up here. It's uh, the Thursday before Good Friday here. Uh, the, uh, I believe it's the 18th of April. And so when we have uh, storm and rainwater, we have, this is the areas like I was telling you that all fill up so that uh, your houses and yards don't get flooded. So there's just a little gravel walkway that we can take. There's other entrances into this walkway, but this uh, this comes back to that path, but this is, like I said, all your storm water runoff through this area here. And then coming up along the side of uh, your next door neighbor or two houses down and then here's looking down the street here and now uh, we're gonna take you into the house so a very nice three-car garage you got a flat tile roof here the house is a little over 2100 square feet just an absolutely gorgeous home they did a lot of upgrades inside that master bedroom has got a little sitting area and that master bedroom is over 600 square feet uh, the size of that uh, master bedroom just unbelievable the gal that uh, bought the home brand new has been living in it since she's moving closer to Chandler her father uh, got moved into assisted living beautiful front door here and uh, and so anyways, uh, she's moving closer into Chandler, but she loves the community. She loves her neighbors. She just hates to leave. It's been an 80 mile round trip to go see her dad. And she has an in-home office and has a very nice setup for her in-home office and uh, uh, in one of the bedrooms. We got, I believe this is 20 inch tile. The only thing you might do is uh, the carpet actually looks pretty good in all the rooms, but you might uh, actually uh, you might actually uh, change the carpet out eventually. Then you might freshen up the paint. We have surround sound for speakers. 
and uh, we have uh, wired for two ceiling fans in this front room. They're using this front room as a formal living room slash dining area. Uh, nice, nice room if you got lots of guests come to see you. Beautiful kitchen, upgraded cabinets, uh, nice tile floors. This is a nice size family room. They've got uh, nice heavy blinds uh, on the windows back there towards the pool, and they got upgraded shutters on all of this, on all the windows, the wooden shutters. The only thing that's not staying is this uh, stainless steel refrigerator. Otherwise, even the washer and dryer is included, and they're upgraded as well. But they do have a top end. Uh, refrigerator that they just recently purchased so they're taking that with them. You've got the staggered cabinetry <laughs> very nice with uh, this crown molding on top of it and a really nice granite countertop and then again you do have surround sound for speakers in the house I believe there's a speaker out on the deck you might change some with colors but I this is this master bedroom has one of the biggest, this house has one of the biggest master bedrooms I've seen along with uh, one of the biggest walk-in closets that I've seen. You've also, that's a food pantry right there and then this goes down to uh, your three bedrooms. Now, I took lots of pictures of this down here and it's kind of hard to show you off the video. Uh, but uh, this guest bathroom has double vanities and then from the room that she's using for her office it, it has double doors so you have like a second master bedroom when guests come so if you took one of the other bedrooms as your office Jen um, you would uh, that that second bedroom there could be used as a as a second master suite for your guests that have their own bathroom you got a linen closet down here to the end and then and again nice size bedrooms you've got a folding closet or folding uh, top there I guess I'm sorry again misspeaking and the garage is is really nice I took lots of pictures of it you got a water softener and built-in cabinets uh, in the garage lots of built-in cabinets I think again you're gonna change some carpeting in here and you might add your own touches for paint and other than that it's uh, it's a very pretty house a little different from the one that we've seen in surprise but uh, the yard is to absolutely die for back here and then here is your uh, master suite you got double doors on the master suite upgraded ceiling fans in the whole house they have an oversized California King in this bedroom and again I, I think this room you'd probably change the carpet in right away and then you've got a sitting area here <laughs> and this is a large area over 600 square feet in this bedroom I I think they're they're probably counting this master bath but it is huge higher countertops you got double sinks you got granite floors in here and a nice size shower and then that closet is is very long and it's a huge closet it's kinda hard to show you off the video I tried to snap pictures of it to give you a little bit of what it looked like but it is big Again, hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy here but very nice layout here on this home you've got a service door coming out the side of the garage to set your garbage cans so you don't have to keep those in the garage and then here we are directly in your backyard this is a very expensive uh, travertine out here outside hey you got a fire pit area here and a really nice pool and they do uh, have a heater for it you're facing the right directions here uh, in order to uh, keep this pool a little warmer again later in the year it can be quite expensive to heat a swimming pool but uh, you're facing the right direction so you're going to get a lot of sun in this backyard in order to help with that. What a absolutely beautiful backyard. They've got a lot of stuff back here and a lot of potted plants. And so uh, as, as you come in and make your own touches 
of course it'll look much better than what the pictures do. I think the house will eventually need a little bit of paint here in the next few years with that elastic numeric paint, but that's not a real expensive fix, uh, and it doesn't need it right away, but it will need it, okay? This house was built, I believe it was in uh, 2006. Jen and Brian, I hope this video helps you out. I've taken lots of pictures of the villages here at Rancho El Dorado. They've got a beautiful fitness center up there. They've got lots of walking paths through the community. And uh, I think you'll just uh, really enjoy the area here. Again, if you've stumbled into this video looking for a home in Arizona for yourself, my name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty. You can reach me at 480-710-6326 or you can visit my websites at www.justjarl.com or scottsdalehomesearch.com or again, you can call me at 480-710-6326. I look forward to meeting you in person and I'd appreciate your business. And Brian and Jen, happy Easter to you and I hope this video has given you an idea of uh, what the home looks like, okay? Thank you.